What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we're gonna go into the arena because there is a brand new arena thing. Oh man, I'm even. I'm even, that's okay. I'm still in Gold League and uh, it's the Boosterama for the Cactus this week. Uh, this weekend, I guess. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just participate in that for a little bit, see how well we can do. Let's do a free play. Now last time my strategy that I used involved a lot of Charred Guard to push things away. I broke three and a half million, I think. Uh, I've had some strategies sent to me since, uh, for the, like, for example, Yu Yang sent me a strategy that was based on the Bloomerang. Now, my Bloomerang isn't that high level compared to his, but we're probably going to try it anyway. Uh, I didn't realize the Bloomerang is a piercing plant. He also used Tile Turnip, but uh, this is the Boosterama mode. I'm going to go ahead and repeat my strategy of last time and see where we stand with that. Just to see if I, you know, just to see. I just want to see what happens. Basically, I crowded the field with uh, with uh, charred guards over here. Like a lot of charred guards over here. And then I put in like a couple layers of uh, these and then we said let's rock. And like I said, we got Boosterama right now, right? So we gotta deal with it. Let's see what happens. Boom. Oh, you know what? I don't like Boosterama when it comes to that. I don't like that because it brings him to the front. Don't want that, don't want that, sorry. Undo, undo, do not want that. That's like the worst thing to use during Boosterama. Uh, but we can do this, which is great. And then we can start working on, uh, yeah, we can start doing this over and over. There we go, there we go, right? Do that again. Alrighty, here we go. I'm gonna put this here. Nice. Now here's the thing I, I forgot to think about is I need power lilies. I totally need power lilies. Because this isn't gonna be great without them. That was wrong. Here we go. Put this here. All right. So yeah, this is my. It's like a three million score or whatever. Three and a half million score like last time. At three point seven. Again, you know, if I if I were to uh, kind of mess around with that, I could probably break four million. But I want to try this six point five million strategy. No idea if it's gonna work. Um, but, uh, Yu Yang, of course, has higher level plants than me. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens and see how it works within the Boosterama, uh, idea here. Let's go ahead and go in. I did beat my opponent, which is good. Uh, so the Yu Yang strategy was, was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And I'll show it to you now. Of course, keep in mind, my Bloomerang is not as high level. I just want to see how this plays out here. If it were higher level, though, yeah, it would work. Lots of impairs in the front, it seems. So this is an okay. So they didn't seem to go much farther than this. So Bloomerang, um, I wish I could test this without the Boosterama, but it'll be fine. Bloomerang is mine's only level twelve. This is Master two hundred. Also the cactus there, and then they got uh, uh, pa uh power lilies. They got tile turnips. Now they have spike weed, but I don't want to bring in spike or uh, spike. Not spike weed, uh, spearmint, but I don't want to bring that in this time around. So I might uh, imitate. I might imitate the. Um, yeah, I might imitate this. There we go. And then uh, impair. Oh my gosh! You know what? Impair is going to probably be the real winner here. I just realized that. This is great. Impair is going to be great. Let's rock. Here we go. Let's see what kind of score I'm going to get here now. Uh, I'm going to start like so. Actually, how did he? How did Yu Yang start? He actually started with a bunch of extra sun. Let's rock with this and see what happens. This is so crazy. All right. All right, interesting. So 
So, all these things in balls is kind of annoying. Alrighty, here we go. These, uh, these blocks are super annoying, dude. Uh, were they always in these things? Here, hold on, hold on. I'm running low on sun production. We're only at 1.3 million. I don't know what the heck. Is this just different? This could just be different, you know? Yeah, I only hit like 1.5. What the heck? Yeah, it was nowhere close to where I wanted to go. Are the is the lineup of, of enemies different from last time? Or the or are they the same? I don't care about my streak right now. That's interesting. Well I did you know, hmm. That's really interesting. I guess what I would want to do. Huh. You know, I don't remember. I I would need to go back. I don't know if there was many as many things in balls. Are there like were the were there as many zombies in balls last time? I don't know. Anyway, let's go in. I want to at least figure out how to crack four million today. Explosives are nerfed, but uh, they, they still they still work. So let's put out let's do a, an explosive based strategy. We're gonna bring in the primal pea shooter. Uh, which is where? Hello? There you are. I'm gonna bring in this. I'm gonna imitate the power lily. And that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> like, what else do we need, huh? Um, we could... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that looks, that looks about as good as it gets. So, what do I need to bring in uh, otherwise? Um, maybe the impair. Maybe. I don't know. Let's rock. Here we go. So we're going to start off by basically flooding the entry field with uh, Primal Potato Mines. Also in the back. And right here. And then I just want to kind of make sure that nothing slips by here. So there we go. Let's rock. Here we go. I'm going to be focused on uh, putting this down. There you go. That's so loud. All right, there we go. Trying my best here. All right, dig that up. Here we go, unleash. All right, yeah, filling it all up again. Here we go. Now this is only a 1.6 strategy, what the heck? 2.1 Yeah, I don't know man. I don't know The the problem is the impair doesn't work on the guys in the balls So yeah, I don't know. I'm having a bit of issues uh, There was another strategy sent in which uh, if I can find it I had it pulled up, but I accidentally closed it uh, I might have to take a break and look it up again. I, I did an art contest for, in regards to battle for neighborville and my Twitter mentions are just flooded. Uh, but let's see what I got here. Um, let's see. 
We got, um, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm pulling it up. I'm sorry. Okay, continue. Uh, this one, he got four million. And he's using, this is Jonathan Spire sent this in. And, uh, let's see. So he got, he's using a really nice mixture of plants, which I wasn't anticipating. Um, but the problem is, uh, Spearmint, uh, Spearmint is not going to be good because now, now the Spearmint effect is going to be terrible. He's bringing in, um, this. Okay, so just an interesting collection of, of items. This. Um, he's bringing in, I guess to slow them down, but I can't, the thing is, I can't remember if earlier this week we were dealing with so many, so many zombies and balls. Like I simply do not remember. Where's my winter melon at? This is a strategy, basically. Uh, he's also bringing in spearmint, but I don't feel like I can bring in spearmint because of everything. So I might just bring in, um... Power lilies, so we can use more plant food on the electricity. This is a setup. And he's using uh, this. I don't know how he ends it, though. Any more screenshots of how he ends it, I think. Let's rock. I guess I'm just going to keep putting down laser beans. I probably should have brought an impair. I feel like there's way too many of these balls. I feel like we weren't dealing with so many balls be before. Yeah, I really feel like that's the core issue, is that we just weren't dealing with so many of these balls. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and the gestures just totally throw these, throw these melons away. Makes them totally useless. And we're only sitting at about two million. I don't know what to do. Two and a half million about. Like I said, I would like to break four million, but I'm not so sure. Let's go with, um, I mean, maybe we need to break the balls. With spearmints. Uh, so let's, let's be, I mean, but I, the, the problem is, here, here, let's, let's do this method here. This is so confusing, but let's see if this works. I'm gonna come up with a strategy that uh, deals with those balls because those balls are ruthless. Uh, we need to bring in laser beans, or actually, no, uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, this and that, and uh, we will bring in this. The the actually no, we're gonna bring in that. I'm gonna bring in the. Uh, that's my dog shaking next to me. I'm gonna. I will bring in the spearmint, but only to break the balls. So we're gonna primarily go with a really hardcore laser beam strategy. I think, and we're going to. Uh... Here we go. Let's let's set let's start this up. There we go. And we're gonna put this here. All right. One of those. 
those things moved. And they keep moving. They put on my grave. What the? All right, so we need we need the spike rocks. Basically, is what's happened here. But this is only two million, you know. Three million, that's pretty good. That's a three and a half million strategy. Still haven't quite broken into the four millions. But it's interesting. Uh, this, I think the spikes are needed, especially right up. Uh, if you put them up front, then they're good. So maybe I need to focus a little more on that. Let me let me hone that strategy a little bit. We'll do the same exact strategy. I'm just gonna hone the strategy if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to do a little bit better with it. So let's see what we got. Hey, I got some more Pokra. Oh, it's level two, nice. So let's go ahead and uh, deal with that really quick. Go ahead and promote. I guess you can promote it within the thing. I don't have to go to the Almanac each time. There we go, poker is level three. So, okay, let's take a look really quick. Let's go back in. I'm gonna hone that strategy a little bit more. I'm gonna focus up on... Well, that one whole column is just not useful because the graves keep going there. So what I think I would wanna do is I mean exactly what I did basically so let's let's just rock I mean, well, the same lineup but what I want to do is a little bit different than what I did I want to do this all right let's rock that's like as good as it gets for me okay okay that's okay All right. Here, dig that up. Too many things are coming out over here. What the heck? Oh my god. All right, what's what's happening? What? I don't. I did not mean for a spike spike rock to be there at all. Dig it up. Thank you. Why do spike rocks keep getting put here? What the heck? Hey, we broke four million. Five million, we broke five million. There we go, that's a good score. Okay, so like I said, I honed my strategy a little bit. I, I really focus on the impairs and uh, I'm curious if I do something a lot similar. Like if I just, what if, I just out of curiosity, what's kind of the baseline score we can get with just impairs? You know what I mean? That, that seems risky, but maybe it's worth it. And uh, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna really, 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 really focus on the impairs. And I'm gonna put down a few cactuses in the way so, so the chickens don't get through. And this is this is just a test. This is not a strategy I think is gonna make any break any scores. I just I, I kind of wanted to see how much the impairs do on their own. So think of this just as a test. Uh, I'm not gonna bring in laser beans even though I kind of want to, but I'm not gonna bring them in. What I will do is I'm going to keep the power power lily, and I'm going to actually bring in. Um, I think I'm gonna bring in spike rocks. Or maybe, no, maybe I'll just use cactuses way up front. That could be interesting. 
Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's imitate the, the plant food. Here we go. I think this is going to be really interesting. I'm going to put all of these here. I'm going to put cactuses like way up front. Actually, I'm going to dig up the first set here. And I'm going to use the spike weed for that. Let's rock. Here we go. I mean, sorry, spike. I don't even mean spike weed. I mean that. There we go. So. All right. All right, this isn't too bad, right? That's pretty good, right? Holy cow. Uh, we're, we're accidentally done. We're at three million alone. That didn't seem to do too much. That's only three. So that's three and a half million, basically. Basically, most of the strategy. But of course, you got to keep in mind the cactus. Cactus was there, uh, and I would put the cactus there so we wouldn't have the balls push forward. So yeah, I broke five million with the previous strategy. Uh, when I combine the lasers with the impairs, I think that's going to be the winning strategy for me this week. Um, I have I haven't been able to really break five million before, but it's good to do so this time. Uh, let's go. Um, let's take a look at. We're getting some more. We're almost level ten with the cactus. You know, there's some cactus stuff for sale in the shop. Could be good to just buy them. <laughs> anyway, I'm hit. I hit to hit first place there. Short episode today, but thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. Next episode we have, if we take a look at the poker party season, uh, if we look at the tournaments, we have a Gold Bloom tournament next week. That's exciting. That's only in a few hours. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.